Hey YouTubers, TJ here. Uh, making a mandrel for a holder that will go into a end mill holder, a one inch end mill holder. What this will do, this will hold a roto brooch set up. Um, I was using a three quarter collet, R8 collet to hold it in the bridge port, but I didn't, it didn't seem, it was, it was just very short here. So I uh, went on YouTube found a great, uh, really good person that does a lot of machining. His name is James Kilroy. Visit his page. It's really cool. I got his idea to make this holder from him because he made a holder as well. So what I'm doing here is I have the spin dexter set up. It's a 5C collet holder. I uh, roughed out, actually machined the um, mandrel itself. It's a 1-inch OD diameter over here where it's in the collet. So I need to drill uh, two hole, drill and tap two holes. They're going to be 5 16 18, 90 degrees apart. The easiest way to do this if you have a, a spin dexter is set it to zero, drill and tap your hole, turn it 90 from there, and drill and tap your hole, and you're done. Just want to say thanks again to James Kilroy. Really appreciate your uh, your videos. I am not a machinist. Uh, I do like welding better than machining, but um, sometimes you got to make some parts to weld them together. I have a big job coming up where I'm going to have to um, bore a lot of holes, and the best way to do it is with a annular cutter. Um, you get to exact size. There's many offers out there of different sizes that you need. There's even metric sizes as well. So uh, I'll bring you back when I um, I'm done drilling and tapping these holes, and uh, I'll probably show you another video in use. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Website is tjsperformance.com. Thanks for watching.